Yeah, I think so. Like I said, the positives for me today were that it just shows you drop some players, <laughs> your team plays better. But it's can imagine if you dropped even more players, you know. Negatives for me is obviously things like, you know, like I said, the team it wasn't perfect. It was it really wasn't like perfect. No. Didn't like the lineup, didn't like to be honest, I didn't like the performance overall. You know, I'd say it was thirty minutes of good again. Then the rest was it was bland. That's what I'd say. So like I said, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get excited. There's no reason to get excited with some three points against Burnley. Doesn't affect yeah, my no, life. We definitely Definitely gonna overhype it, but then I think we, all of us have gotten caught in this thing where we kind of gone from Ralph Lee's time to fall into the media's trap of you should do it now. I mean, it has only been four games or five games now, and on top of that, he's carrying over a horrendous legacy from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer now. <laughs> like, so even the simple like, like Ole has left us un, 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 unimaginable damage. If Maguire wasn't captain, it's easier to drop him. You now you must drop him and strip him off the captaincy. You know, just as one as one example. You know, the Donny situation. I think Donny's done at United. I think it's done. I think Donny is probably like, nah, I'm not gonna play. And I think Ragnik. One thing has been clear: if you don't want to play for United, we don't care about you. We put you to the side. We don't ever see you. And I think a similar situation is like that with Donny. And I think that's just genuinely the case yeah. because for me there was no excuse why not to play Donny today. Absolutely no excuse. The low comes on as well instead of him to play in the midfield. Then not even he doesn't even get the he doesn't even get the two minutes even he doesn't even get two minutes yeah. anymore. Fred comes on, taking the piss. You know what's you know what's the difference between I don't want to jump the gun. Okay, let me not say what's the difference between Ole and uh, Ragnick. You know what's the difference between Ole and a good coach? When a good coach makes decisions and they work out, you can't question them. <laughs> you know I love Donny, but if Donny doesn't play and Scott does a madness. You know, did a madness. But there was four other play, players Donny could have played instead of for today, so. Okay, fair. But if and, and you and, and you tell me, in two weeks time, when Scott McTominay doesn't have one of his annual world class amazing games, and he's thinking it up, and we lose the game because of Scott McTominay, I'll be there like exactly. That's why you don't get excited. That's, that's exactly true. why you don't that's get true. excited. He did it in this game, you know. So yeah, yeah in this game, like man of the match, easy. Go do yeah, it again next week. We praise him, but not the Kelly Ray. Exactly. Right but Man of the match today, we'll do it again next week. And then if we do it next week, we can continue the talk. Until then, I'm not entertaining it. I'm moving on. I'm yeah, sorry, Mulo. Yeah, yeah. But, like, we speak of Della. No, you're going to get too excited. You're going to fall into the trap. I'm telling you. This is how you fall Della into the trap. Della was an amazing outlet. He was a fantastic outlet. Yeah. I was impressed, you know, because it's one of those decisions where you're like, oh, okay, I didn't see that, didn't, but the manager saw that, you know. So I'm happy about that. And with Matic and Fred, I think what we saw with Fred is that he does have a little bit of a ruthless side, you know. Fred was losing balls left, right, and centre against Newcastle. Yeah. He's gone now, you know. Yes, Matic is past it, but then he can tackle, you know, at least. So it's clearly yeah, but like I said, it's one game. If Fred could come back into the team next week, and then I'll be sitting here yeah, saying the same probably... thing. <laughs> so, yeah. like I said, I'm not guessing up anyone. Don't care. Go do it week in week out. I'm done with this place. Done. But, but uh, like, some players just, definitely took their chance today, and some players didn't take their chance today. That's again one thing I'll say. So you just got to find the the best team you can get, and that's why I'm not I'm not against Ragnik. I have full faith in Ragnik, but like I said, I'm not I'm done to the point where I'm getting excited about stupid small things now. This is United. I'm tired. I'm but tired. Then, you know what it is, dude. We speak of clean slates. And I know no. you don't want to give no. some of these players a clean slate. Listen, no. listen. No. Don't give some of these players you, a clean That's slate. your opinion. You can have your clean slate. But for me, I'm done. And that's just how I'm going to do it. You don't give them a clean slate because, you know, they've, they've hurt you. But then, once again, we get caught in the trap of the media trying to, you know, just demolish Ralph Ratner because he's not that... I'm not demolishing Ralph. I'm demolishing these prats on the field. And some of I them Ralph still picks. So, no. We need to give... We need to give Ralph a chance to show us what these players are Yeah, but you're missing my point. I'm not slating Ralph. I'm slating I the team. I get that. But by giving by giving these players the benefit of the doubt, you're giving Ralph the benefit of the doubt because you kind of say, okay, Ralph, what can you get out of them, you know? So I think we need to keep that. Yeah, but I will tell you the same thing. As I'll tell it to Ralph to his face. Ralph has been here for a very short time, so it'll take him more time. But I sit here week in, week out watching United players. I don't need time to know what's good for United. And that's just how it is. I don't need time to know that Scott McTominay can pull off a game like this, but for 90% of the other times, he's going to let you down. Same with Maguire, same with Fred, same with a lot. 
a lot of these players so like i said until they do it over and over and over again to the point where it's like years down the line i'm like you know what boys <laughs> ragnick was the one and you know scott pictomney was the one until then i can't be bothered to be honest so like i said you gotta mind me not getting excited and giddy but that's just where i am because next week when they let us down again i'm just gonna be like well there you go so 